morning. I was up at 4.30 in the morning and hiking by 5.30. And today we'll start the descent down the backside of San Jacinto. It's about a 17 mile um, all exposed uh, descent down the mountain. So I'm gonna get some water and prepare for that. One of the hardest obstacles on the PCT. See if she can limbo under. Oh, there she goes. Yes. Perfect. Look at these views. <laughs> Look at that mountain over there. Uh, Boom. Okay, we've officially started the descent. It's pretty steep. And over to the left there is the town of Banning. So we're headed down. It's 20 miles. I don't know if we'll get there today. We'll get there by tomorrow. Getting closer to the valley. Look at all those wind farms. Boy, was it windy this afternoon. We're camping just shy of 200 miles. And tomorrow we're gonna rock into Palm Springs. We're gonna have a nice hot shower. It's gonna be worth it. Now I gotta set up the tent. Cook dinner, pass out. I've been dreaming of Chipotle. And here it is. Okay, I am in Palm Desert, which is next to Palm Springs. I am currently walking myself to go see a physical therapist to see what they say about my knee. I'm kind of nervous because I don't know what they're gonna say. So we'll see, keep you posted. This is my current knee situation. I got it all taped up and supported. The physical therapist said that uh, it is possible to hike and have an active recovery. Basically, uh, the injury occurs because I'm putting too much stress on my quad. It's like bound up super tight, which is pulling my kneecap upwards and causing the pain. And I have to do a lot of hip strengthening exercises on trail and a lot more stretching and keep taking Advil and trying to do low mile days. So uh, right now being in Palm Desert, the next big town coming up is Big Bear, which is gonna take me three to four days to get there. And then I'm going to reassess uh, in that city and just constantly like checking in with myself. Gonna hike through, hike through those mountains to get to Big Bear and keep doing my stretches and hopefully I can, you know, over time the pain will ease up. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping, fingers crossed. And let me just show you my current Marriott room situation. I've got stuff sprawled out over here. I've got uh, my next resupply box. And over here is where my backpack just exploded with stuff. But that's all clean laundry, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, and as I sit here, clean, drinking a nice cold beverage. Mm. Such luxuries. I now have a new appreciation for. I wanted to tell you about coming 
down off the mountain, down Fuller Ridge, the backside of San Jacinto, and reaching the 200 mile mark. Uh, it was, it was an experience, let's say that. Uh, so it's a long descent, it's nothing but downhill, 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 really hard on my knee. I had to go super slow. And uh, Dave and I, we set up a camp uh, just before 200, the mile mark 200, and the wind was just coming off the mountain, like 40, 50 mile an hour winds. And uh, there's nothing we could do. We had to rest, we were exhausted. So I set up my tent, put in my earplugs, tried to get some sleep, and it was just impossible. So some, somewhere at like one or two in the morning, I take the tent poles out of my tent and I just wrap the tent around me and poke my head out. And, you know, I'm looking up at the stars, it's, it's beautiful, but I just couldn't stand the wind. It was just blowing my tent down. So we were supposed to leave at five in the morning for hiking and it's like 4.20 and Dave's like, are you up? I'm like, yeah. He didn't sleep a wink. I got, maybe got a half hour, 45 minutes. And we're like, let's just get the hell out of here. It's too windy. So we hike and we just start, we pack up as quickly as possible and get out and try to get off the side of the mountain. But we reached the 200 mile mark right at sunrise. It was really beautiful. Uh, it was super windy the whole rest of the day. But it's moments like that that really make you appreciate calming moments like this. All right, made it to the underpass. Everyone that's been here has signed the, signed the poster. There we go, that's how I signed it. Be good, do good, be one, Artemis. That was the school motto for my high school, St. Bonnie. So it's nice to leave a little reminder there. Mountains. And here they are. It's a bit windy today. It feels good to be hiking again. I know that valley doesn't look like much, but oh man, was that a steep climb. That was a steep climb up. And now look, got this perfect bench made just for me in the shade. Right, Dave, James, and I made it to Whitewater River tonight. We hiked 13 miles from Palm Springs, and this place is gorgeous. Great camping spot.